knees to my toes I praise the Lord Every day With my eyes and my ears My hands and my feet I praise the Lord Every day With my mouth tops I will praise the Lord Where my feet walk I will praise the Lord With a smile on my face I will praise the Lord God made all of me To praise the Lord Yeah From my head to my shoulders My knees to my toes I praise the Lord Every day My eyes and my ears My hands and my feet I praise the Lord Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Church School, as created just for you by the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church Department of Christian Education and Formation. Wow, that's a lot to say. So let's just say that your lesson is being brought to you today by the CME Church. Get ready for an exciting lesson with fun-filled activities. But before we begin, let's settle down and pray. With your eyes closed and your hands together, let's talk to God. Lord, please give each of us an understanding heart so that we may be wise to recognize error when we see it or hear it. Help us to stay away from anyone and anything that goes against your word. Help us to call you and your wisdom each day to make the right choices. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Abandon your simplistic ways and live. Walk in the way of understanding. Proverbs 9, 6. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's church school lesson. Let's begin with an activity as we usually do. Most of you, if not all of you, should recognize the items on the screen. Could you help me identify them? Tell me what each item is being used for. Let's look first at picture A, the young lady in pink. Yes, she has an umbrella. The umbrella is designed to protect us against rain or sunlight. So now let's look at picture B. The young man is wearing a mask. A mask is important to stop the spread of viruses like flu or even like COVID-19. 
Especially now, it is very important to always wear a mask to help keep everyone safe. So what do you see in picture C? <laughs> That's a helmet. A helmet is used as a protective gear to keep our heads safe from any form of injury when we're riding a bike, roller skating or rollerblading, skateboarding, or even riding a scooter. Don't forget to wear your helmet so that you are safe when you're playing. And in the far right, in picture D, what do you see? That's an easy one. Besides the hot pizza coming out of the oven, wow, yum, yum. We see oven mittens. They're designed to keep our hands and fingers protected from things that are hot. No one wants to get burned when lifting hot pans or hot pots or just taking hot dishes out of the oven or the microwave. I'm enjoying this activity. You're naming everything in every example correctly. Let's keep going with a few more pictures. So what do you see in picture E? They are glasses, but special kind of glasses. They are protective glasses designed to protect our eyes when we are using heavy equipment or sometimes like in school with our science projects. So in the center with picture F, what do you see? It's pretty cute to see the young lady and her friend Teddy all wrapped up for a safe drive. They're wearing their seat belts. This protects us from any quick stops or accidents that might happen. Very important to always buckle up. Make sure you do that. And finally, what do you see in picture G? We might not think about it, but railroad crossings protect us from fast moving trains. Not only do they provide sound alarms, but flashing lights and even arms to make sure that our cars or our bicycles or just walking that we do not cross the railroad tracks when trains are coming or in the vicinity. Never try to race against the railroad crossing bars it's not worth it. Just patiently wait for the train to pass. I have one more picture to share. We should all recognize this item. We can't wear it like the other protective gears. We have to read it and study it and talk to God through prayer so we can better understand it. It's the Bible. The Bible protects us from sin and from Satan. We have to open it read it and study it. This will help us to know the word of God well enough to shut Satan down when he tries to lie to us. Satan wants us to stay away from God and not be good. Satan wants us to doubt God's love and his promises. Don't even give Satan a chance. Always try to listen to God. Well, Today, we're going to talk about two ladies. One of the ladies wants to share God's promises and his wisdom with us. And the other lady wants us to turn our backs to God and all of his promises. They're both having a feast. They want all of us to attend. Which one are you going to go to? This lesson continues the previous week's concentration on wisdom. From King Solomon asking God for wisdom to the choice of Jason last week, with regards to his bicycle project. We see clearly that wisdom is to be desired. Get ready for two more characters to further illustrate good choices. Let's prepare now for Lady Wisdom and Lady Folly. Lady Wisdom and Lady Folly have invited us all to dinner at their homes. You can attend one dinner though because they are happening at the same time. Which invitation will you accept? Lady Wisdom has taken her time to build a super large house with seven pillars for all who choose to join her. The house lights up the neighborhood in the middle of a dark city filled with sinners who need to hear the word of God. She stands by the house saying, come and eat. 
She sends her servants to invite those who are passing by, signaling them to come to her home. Lady Wisdom shares God's word and wisdom with her guests. Proverbs 9 and 6 says, Abandon your simplistic ways and live. Walk in the way of understanding. The best thing you can do for yourself is to stay away from fools and their bad ways. Bad company will pull you down and destroy your life, no matter how strong you think you are. Lady Folly is also inviting everyone and anyone to come to her dinner. She isn't honest and doesn't care if you live or die. She encourages you to tell lies, to steal, to cheat, and to be disobedient. Lady Folly says it's okay to watch bad videos on TikTok. She finds every way to place herself where she thinks you may look. She is in bad books. She is on bad websites. She is in bad movies. And she is even in bad music and bad games. She is saying, Do whatever you want because rules were meant to be broken. She brags that the princes, nobles, judges, and all the celebrities of the earth are her biggest fans. She wants to fool everyone who joins her dinner and listens to her lies. Lady Folly says it's okay to do whatever you want. And nothing will happen to you. Lies, lies, lies. Sin always has consequences. Remember, you are being invited to two houses. Lady Follies and Lady Wisdoms. You must pray for wisdom not to enter into Lady Folly's house. Proverbs 9 and 10 says, The beginning of wisdom is the fear of the Lord. The knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Wisdom is the only answer to making the correct choice. The kids on the screen seem as if they're really enjoying themselves. They're just having fun. Are these some of the activities you enjoy during your free time? From puzzles to video games to sharing, there are so many ways to have fun. Having fun is a great thing. The same way we make time to enjoy ourselves with friends and family, talk on the phone, watch our favorite shows, or play our favorite games. We have to make time for God. He is just as important. We have to pray and read our Bible every day. It helps to keep us protected, like the other gears we reviewed in the lesson earlier. When you hear a lie go through your mind, just remember that in Corinthians, it says, every defense that is raised up to oppose the knowledge of God They capture every thought to make it obedient to Christ. We can say this out loud to run Satan away. Satan, you are a liar. I will not believe your lie. I trust God for wisdom. You cannot convince me to make bad decisions or to behave badly. I am a child of God. And so we end this lesson with a big question for you. Which invitation will you choose? I know what you're going to do. You like I. We're going to choose Lady Wisdom's invitation. We're going to stay away from foolish behavior. We're going to choose the godly life of wisdom and understanding. 
Lady Wisdom, and Lady Folly have extended an invitation to their homes. Each lady has a different motive to their invitation. Lady Wisdom wants to share God's wisdom. She is pleading for us to come. Come, find the wisdom of God in the gospel. Come, find the understanding that gives life. Come and trust God and grow in his word. Lady Folly, on the other hand, wants for all of us to turn away from the word of God. She encourages all of us to live as if there is no God and that there aren't any consequences for our actions. We must follow Lady Wisdom's advice and accept her invitation. We need to look to God and live life the way He intended it to be lived. The Bible Songs Hi, I am Tubby, and these are my friends Gumbo and Freckles. We live here in this wonderful library. On that great book is Grand Old Holy. She is really old and wise and teaches us new songs from the Bible every day. We love to sing with her. Hi, Holy. Which song are you going to teach us today? Hmm. Today, let us sing He's Got the Whole World. It's only through you that we can get true wisdom. You are the source of all knowledge, and without you there is no truth. Thank you that we can receive wisdom by studying and trusting in your word to reveal such wisdom to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, my young friends. I am so happy to greet you each week in church school, and I call you my friends because you come to church school just like I do. We are learning more and more about God and much how much God loves us, and that's why I go, so I'm glad you're going. We create this video to help you get closer to God and to get to know God better, and for God to know you better, and for us to know you better. I hope you enjoy the music, the Bible stories, and activities. I'm enjoying them as well because they mean much to me. See you next week in Sunday Church School.